children. Uh, in addition to that, you, behind me, you're only seeing some of the support that we've been having as far as our state, local, and federal law enforcement partnership goes. Uh, those partnerships include the Alliance for Children, Child Protective Investigations, Texas Department of Public Safety, Texas Rangers, Fort Worth Police Department, the White Settlement Police Department, the Department of Homeland Security, National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, and then of course our specific investigative team who's up here as well, and they've done an incredible job so far in this investigation. Secondly, I need to thank all those who have volunteered their own time and effort to locate Noel Rodriguez Alvarez. Since the issuance of the Amber Alert, we've received countless tips and information and although not all of those tips and information received have been able to support us in locating the well, we know that everyone is doing everything that they can, and we truly appreciate those efforts and want those to continue. I've got a prepared statement here for you, and then immediately after that, I'll, I'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have. I'd like to provide a summary on the course of this investigation. First, let me start by saying that six-year-old Noel Rodriguez Alvarez is still missing. Noelle suffers from multiple disabilities, including severe development disorder, social disorder, physical disabilities, chronic lung disease, which requires treatment and oxygen at times. On March 20th, our agency was notified by Child Protective Investigations that they had received a complaint from an anonymous source that Noelle had not been seen since November of 2022. Noelle reportedly resided with his mother, identified as Cindy Rodriguez Singh, as well as four biological siblings, ages seven, eight, nine, and 11, and twin five-month-old half-siblings and a stepfather. The stepfather was identified as Arshdeep Singh. Cindy is the custodial mother of all seven of these children. The family resided at a residence located in the 3700 block of Wisteria here in Everett. CPI requested that officers conduct a welfare check of Noel at that residence. Officers responded to the home and made contact with the mother. At that time, the mother advised officers that Noel has been residing with his biological father in Mexico since November. At that time, there were no indications present to the officer that would warrant any further investigation. This information was then shared with CPI. On March 23rd, CPI contacted our agency again regarding Noel. They advised that they had spoken with several other family members who also stated that they had not seen Noel since November of 2022 and expressed significant concern for the child's welfare. Additionally, CPI was able to track down the biological father in Mexico who advised that he did not have Noel in his custody and that he had never had the opportunity to meet Noel due to being deported prior to the birth of his youngest son, Lucindy. Homeland Security records supported the father's statements. Additionally, the CPI investigator had attempted to make contact with the other children at their school, but learned that those children were absent and that the mother had contacted the school to inquire about their unenrollment. CPI had attempted contact with the mother by phone and at the residence with no success. It appeared to the CPI investigator that the mother was intentionally avoiding authorities. This prompted an investigation into the child's whereabouts. Investigators attempted to make contact with the mother utilizing all available methods. Although we are prohibited from releasing specific details about prior incidents and prior investigations uh, related to Child Protective Services, I am able to simply share that there have been prior investigations and actions against the mother. Additionally, the mother has an extensive criminal history involving alcohol-related offenses. On March 24th, investigators worked with our partners at the Alliance for Children and CPI on this case. Investigators were able to rule out that the child was in the possession of any other known family members, at which time investigators obtained an arrest warrant for the mother for the offense of false report regarding a missing child or missing person. Investigators worked with the Texas Fusion Center, which is responsible for the administration of statewide alerts, and it was determined that based upon the totality of the circumstances, an Amber Alert for Noel Rodriguez Alvarez was warranted. This alert was issued shortly after midnight on March 25th. On that same day, March 25th, investigators from various agencies worked tirelessly throughout the day on this case in an attempt to locate Noel, the mother, stepfather, and other children. Investigators responded to dozens of tips and information that was received, and at approximately 9 p.m. last night, we learned that the mother, stepfather, and siblings had all left the country on a Turkish Airways flight to Istanbul that flew out on March 23rd prior to the issuance of the Amber Alert. Noel 
was not listed as a passenger on that flight. For this reason, the Amber Alert was discontinued and an endangered missing persons was issued issued through the Texas Department of Public Safety. This change does not affect the course of our investigation. We plan to continue to investigate this case to the fullest of our capabilities. I need to be very clear that we currently do not have any physical evidence related to Noel's status as a missing person. What I do know is that we have a six-year-old disabled boy that cannot be accounted for, is missing, and that the mother is not willing to cooperate with investigators to help us simply assure that the child is safe. And we are desperately seeking the public's help. Currently, we have engaged with our partners at the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children who are assisting us with all of their available resources and expertise. We are asking that anyone with any amount of information related to this case or this family to please contact the Everman Police Department. And you can do so by calling our main line at 817-293-2923.